let me say that again, the mm -hmm. party mm -hmm. wow. of the plot mm -hmm. and the purpose. Mm -hmm. hmm. I've been to a party. I know at the party there was a plot. Mm -hmm. And I went there because I had a purpose. Amen. Mm. Just want to bring that to 21st century. I like that, John. Okay. I like that. Okay. This morning, this story about Esther has probably been preached. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be guessing now. I'm gonna use my my, my humble rationale. Mm -hmm. Probably about 300,000 times mm -hmm. in the earth mm -hmm. from the time I was born. Mm -hmm. Yes. Easy 300 times, 300,000 times. Mm -hmm. Not all women have preached this message. That's right. But if you go to most churches doing church and women's day and women conference, Esther some way mm -hmm. slides up in the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, I'm okay with, you can use Esther a hundred times because the story is fascinating to me. Mm. I'm a writer. And by God, I write. But I write because God gives me fascinating stories to write. I use a conversation with somebody and pen it. Not what they said, but how they said it and why they said it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the passion when they said it. Mm -hmm. This story about Esther brings us to where we are today in today's times. Mm -hmm. Let me break it down real quick. I don't have a, I don't have a lot of time today. I told the Lord I'm going to be done at a certain time. Amen. Not because of me, but because of God. And if God pushes me, I will be pushed. Because mm -hmm. I've learned this. When you put God on a chokehold, mm -hmm. God does not do what you say mm -hmm. you want him to do. All right. He All does right. what he said. He can't muzzle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this story today deals with, in the 21st century, before I get back to the story, normally on Friday night, before I was a Christian, or before I was sold out to Jesus, I found a party somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back in my day, mm -hmm. we had a house party. I grew up in right. the house party That's right. era. That's yeah. right. In the basement. That's right. Somebody house. Mm -hmm. We're going to find a party. Mm -hmm. You see, when I, when I started partying as a teenager, I was still saved, but I was going to the parties. Yes. You know? And, and so we didn't start getting ready to 930. At the house, we we was we was hitting we was hitting the party at eleven. Mm. Yeah. So here's the thing, which you don't realize. See, I was very strategic, even as a young person. Yes. I figured that the females not gonna get there till late. They not coming early because they get to do all you know. They get the feet done. They get the hair done. They get the nails done. You know, they they get the, then they put the girls all up in well, the car because well, they they coming deep. Well. And so I told a couple boys that I, I said, "Bro, we ain't going to the party till eleven. Yeah. Mm. Now, at that party, even though we were underage, they had some punch there that had some help. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, and, and, and you know, I, 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 ain't, I ain't putting my boys out there because I went out a couple guys that I knew mm. that would go to parties. Yeah. And they would say, Doc, we need to take you because when we take you, you have something about you. I said, well, I don't have nothing. Just like you guys, man, we, we grew up in. He said, no, brother, you have charisma. Yeah, mm. come on, Doc. He said, you know how to talk to people with, on, with a certain eloquence. Yeah. So if we get he said, drunk, you know how to talk to the young lady. If, if we Good get you, how are you? you get jammed, we know who to You know, so, so the reality is, is that when we went to the party, the thing I love about parties, other than the beautiful young ladies, was the music. And I'm not saying I was Fred Astaire, but I could do a little something. Mm. Even if I stayed in my corner and did this, you know, yeah. but sooner or later people would come over to me. Oh, no. I'm trying to paint this picture for y'all yeah, because y'all yeah. need to see the picture. Now I know y'all been saved all y'all lives. And y'all ain't never been to the party because your mom or daddy was either a pastor or, or somebody was watching out. But for me, we will slip out the back door. Yeah, that was yeah. yes, my mama was asleep. Mm. All down, dude up. You know, fixing it up, got the hair combed, and, and back then I didn't have, I had, I didn't have what I had on my head now. I had what they call an afro. Mm. Now I had it braided up, and put a little cologne on, you know, going out there, because we, we, we had a, pl a plot. The plot was to get the prettiest girls Come at on. the party. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. But we walked in the door, 
Party right here. Yes, sir. Party over here. Yeah. See, the party don't stop until you get there. Get there. You know, until <laughs> Snake rolls up in the building. Come on don't here. tell everybody that you can't put it out there. Come on here. When oh, Snake rolls up in the building, guess who's here, y'all? <laughs> and I'm coming in loud. I come in there smooth. <laughs> Yes, sir. Can I, can I get you something to drink? Can I get you something to eat? I always believe in being polite. The music jumping, and before you know it, you got a little something in the in the the punch. And I didn't know the guy that I was hanging with was twenty one, so he went to the the the, the liquor store. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And got a little Bacardi. Mm. And and he said, Doc. This. I said, go ahead, put it in. Ain't no sense. Come be a part of me. Go have fun. Now, I may not have drank none of that because I wasn't a drinker. Mm -hmm. And plus, see, you know, when you get to drinking, you get to acting outside of yourself. Yes, well, yeah. So, King Hyacinth had a party going on. He threw a feast. See, a feast back then was a party. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he had it at his palace. This was an eloquent party. Mm -hmm. This was a party where everything there looked so wonderful mm -hmm. and exquisite. Mm -hmm. But they was having a party. He invited everybody to the party. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And he was getting down. And see, the thing about this rascal, he didn't have a party for one day. Yeah. The Bible said he had a party for seven days. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. A <laughs> seven day party? Come on, that was right party? Down there. Jesus. For seven days, maybe in that door, but it wasn't mine, preacher. I'm not partying nowhere for seven days. Because I got to go home, and I got to go to school, and I got to do some other things. I don't care who was going, D Mango wasn't going to be at a party for seven but this guy had a party for seven days. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he had women on the, the Bible said he had a harem. Yes. Yeah. Of beautiful virgins. Yeah. Now, I don't, see, I, I, I don't know how he knew they were virgins. Jesus. Because <laughs> when you got a harem, mm. ask King Solomon. Yeah. Mm. You know, let, let me keep it real, real quick. Us as men with a harem, we going to check out what's on the menu and order. We're going to taste the goods, well. if you know what I mean. Jesus. But he had a harem, so he would party, getting down, getting down. The movie, I, I believe Teddy Pendergrass probably flew up in there for a slow song. <laughs> I believe Confunction and Boots and Collins oh, probably flew down God. for a fast song. Oh, you know, I believe they do Earth, Wind, and Pop. Earth, Wind, and Fire in there. The Jesus. reasons that we hear. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Top action, I believe he was rocking and rolling, and everybody was getting it down, throwing it out. And so here's the thing that happens to a saint when we get a little bit of that good juice up in yes, us. Uh -oh. We want to fight. That's why he could party for seven days because he kept feeding them with it juice. Was juiced up. It was juiced up. You know when you get juiced up, you know the, the party don't stop. That's it right. It just keep going and going, going and going. And going. <laughs> so he was pumped up, and so he's the king then. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that the king was married. Because of the wine. Mm -hmm. Now let me just keep it real. He that was drunk. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. He was drunk. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. He was drunk. And so he was drunk. He said, you know what? Queen Vashti. He said, come here, sweetheart. He said, I tell you what, I got my boys here. Mm -hmm. Would you go ahead and put on a show? Would you go ahead and do a mm -hmm. striptease? Mm -hmm. One biblical story said that he wanted her to take her clothes off. That's yes. What saying. Yes. And she said, she refused. Mm -hmm. That's right. She refused. Uh, first of all, you refused the king? The king got sober real quick. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. And he, if, if he was a person of color, he said, no, she did not. <laughs> he probably called for some things outside of her name. Oh, now, yeah. the Bible don't say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, come on. But you know how we do mm -hmm. when we're in control, when we're trying to control everything, even our women, That's even right. our wives. That's right. She refused. Mm -hmm. That cost her her place as the yes, queen. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Yes, it did. Because the Bible says that the king was enraged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was enraged. Yeah. And he had his boys say, his boys probably said, dude, you ain't got no power. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You ain't got the juice. They we instigate. thought you had. They instigated. Well, yeah. They well, instigated. You know, you know how y'all do. Mm -hmm. That's why you should put yourself out there that you this That's and right. that. Because right. well. when things don't happen, mm -hmm. you get ashamed. You yeah. get put on front street. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I tell people, pride go before destruction, but I hold their spirit before fire. But the Bible says, if you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, he will exalt you mm -hmm. in due season. Mm -hmm. See, everybody trying to get a season, and it's not their due season. Well... Mm -hmm. Wait for your season to all become right, due. All right, yeah. all right. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. We can't ride on people's coattail and think that it's our season mm -hmm. because God is blessing them or blessing her or blessing him. Stop doing that. That's why I tell my wife all the time, we are in a season because God has given us due season because we waited. Mm -hmm. You may be in your due season, mm -hmm. but because you waited. Mm -hmm. Come on, Let me move further. So, the king one writer said that he had her killed. Mm. But guess what? Because of her refusal, mm -hmm. well, that opened the door for Queen Esther. Mm -hmm. But I ain't gonna run there just yet. Because mm -hmm. we know with the party unveiled. Mm -hmm. I realized today that in the midst of our lives that we deal with, we don't want to face the realities of life because we still want to party. Mm -hmm. The worst thing we can do for our children is let them live with us and don't give them responsibilities as young adults mm -hmm. to do something constructive mm -hmm. and something valuable and then be productive. Because mm -hmm. they think they're in a the party. Well, I'm not trying to tell you how to run your household. Mm -hmm. They come to your address every day. They don't come to mine. Because right. our granddaughter, Raven, said, Papa D, how come when I come here, mm -hmm. I don't have the freedom to do what I can do when I'm with my dad and my bonus mom? I said, because you want the new management, baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this house is governed by Joshua 2014. She said, what is that? I said, I'm glad you asked. Come on. And she said, she's able to use the sort of law. Choose you today mm -hmm. whom you're going to serve. Mm -hmm. But as for me in this house, we're going to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ain't no shaking and then ain't no R-rated movie for a 12-year-old going on. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know they're going to they gonna see it anyway. Mm -hmm. They might, mm -hmm. but not here. That's, yeah. right. That's, right. <laughs> That's right. So the, the party has to end. Even king, the king party ended after seven days. Mm -hmm. Some people still party and ain't no music going on. They ain't great that they still party. <laughs> Come on, Doc. <laughs> well, let me let me let me let me just shout this in real quick before I get to my, my my four points. Chapter two says that the king sent out a message mm -hmm. to bring all the virgins because I'm looking for a new wife. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something that had that much power? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Says scour the land. Mm -hmm. But the king was very particular. I ain't, I ain't mad. At it. He said, bring me the fine looking ones. Mm -hmm. The ones that has fair skin. And the ones that are built like a brick house. Back in my day, 36, 24, 36. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you, Doc. Or to be a smorgasbord, a buffet of her. Yes. That's what I would if I would have kicked. Then don't bring me somebody up in there I gotta work with right now. I, I, I need this is a beauty pageant for the wife. Come on. Come on dog. And I got a specific Jesus. palette. Come on, dog. So this in the Bible. The Bible said got all the virgins in the box. And then Mordecai, Esther's cousin, heard about it because he always stayed close to the king's gates. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mordecai came out. And he said, guess what? That's him. You go. Mm. This may be something that you might want to get involved in. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So Esther, reach out to Esther said, okay. That's the So he went on <laughs> and went up in there. And guess who caught the king's eye? <laughs> Esther. Yes, sir. The sister. Yes, sir. Yes, see, I mess with y'all. Y'all know. <laughs> The, they were between Ethiopia yes, and right. Egypt. Come That's on, right. Make it real. That's they right. were sisters up in there. Go That's down. why he lost his mind. Put the geographic in there, Doc. Make it real. He saw them fine sisters. <laughs> yes, he did. I ain't there. I ain't put no other race down, but let me tell you something. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing but some marvelous black women rolling 
Yes, sir. And I got one, so I don't need nobody. Yes, sir. I tell people all the time, I'm not against no other race of women, but let me tell you something. It's nothing like my mama said. My mama said, the black are the very the sweet of the Jews. That's why I tell these, these dark skinned young ladies, don't feel bad because you're dark skinned, because God knew exactly what he was doing. And you caramel color ladies, don't feel bad because God made you with a little cream in your coffee. <laughs> And so the reality is, is that Esther caught the king's eye immediately. And the Bible said that the king said, pull her out, and I'm paraphrasing, mm -hmm. and gave her her cosmetics and gave her seven other women to be her servants. See, y'all got to look at this thing because yes. see, God was moving. Mm -hmm. Even though the Bible said that God's name was not mentioned, but his footprint and his fingerprint was all over the book of Esther. Yes. So Esther rolled up in there. She was a virgin. Mm -hmm. And right then, I'm going to talk about this a little more. She obtained favor. See, the reality is in our lives when we serve God, and if we go to the right party, that's what blows my mind when we come to the house of God that we don't understand that this can be a Holy Ghost party to bless the Lord. And you don't need Come no alcohol now. to infuse your praise or to infuse your worship. All you need That's is right. the Holy Spirit. Right. Yes, yes. Mm. That's why I'm like David. I prayed this morning. I said, God, let me be like David today. Yeah. That David dance out his clothes. I said, oh, God, that's why I wore a three piece suit. So if some fall off the jacket, I still got a vest <laughs> to protect me. See, y'all don't understand. Jesus. It's time to bless God. It's time to give him glory. Yes. It's yes. time. Yes. See, I had my own party. I was over here right now. I'm going to tell you something. God was <laughs> using to marry. I had my own party right here. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't concerned with none of y'all was doing. That's right. That's right. Because that's between you and your Lord. Because yeah, right. yeah. when he woke me up this morning, he didn't call me and say, I woke up brother so-and-so or right. sister so-and-so. Right. He said, I woke you up this morning clothed in your right, right mind yeah. so you can give me glory. So you can give me glory. Yes, sir, Doc. Blows my mind mm. when God has been so good to us. And Jesus. He's made a way out of nowhere and he's delivered us even when we didn't do right. His mercy and grace mm. still covered us. We should have an attitude yes. of praise, yes. an attitude yes. of worship. Yes. 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 yes, See, I've learned something. That you can't get my praise the way I want to bless God because you haven't been through what I've been through. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We all have our own stories. We all have our own problems. We all have our own victories. That's right. But David didn't care because she said, I would bless the Lord at all times. All times. Yes. I've had it in my own part because if I can shake. My legs and my feet for the devil. Mm -hmm. When I get in the house of God, why can't I shake my well, legs and feet for the Lord? Well, and some of you up in here, mm -hmm. some of you was partying. I can tell some of you used to shake it loose up in the building. The Woo! Once you walk in the door, see, see, hold up, let me stop real quick. Let me move quickly, Lord. When I was in college, see, and I was on a basketball team. Come on, Doc. And we went to certain parties, we shut it down. Yeah. The b ball players shut it down. Come on, Doc. Mm. And we had to look for no females because they were there. Oh, you play ball? Took it over. Huh? Took it over. You that you that you that tall drink of water from, from Elton? I said, yes, I am. <laughs> but let me talk to you. I said, come on, talk to me. Your friend want to talk to? Because it's a party right here. All I'm saying is that the same spirit that you had to bless the devil with, now bless turn it around, be converted, and Come bless God with it. Because God has done more for you than the devil ever will. Yes. Yes. Yeah, God. Let me move quickly. Let me move quickly. The Holy Ghost said, Here's, I want to talk about, I talked about the party. Mm -hmm. But now I want to talk about the plot. Yes. Because see, what you got to realize that whenever you make a decision for God, there's a plot to yeah. take you out. There's a plot to destroy your credibility. There's a plot to take your joy. Yes. Let me read the plot. Come on, mm -hmm. God. Chapter 3, verses 8 to 11 said, Then Haman said to the king, Ahasuerus, there's a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the peoples in the provinces of your kingdom. Their laws are different from those of every other people. And they do not keep the king's laws so that it is not the king's profit to tolerate them. That sounds like Haman 
is there to create an avenue of genocide. Mm -hmm. We have people of color been dealing with genocides from the time they, they Come took on us now. off of the African motherland continent. Come on yes, now. Sir. Genocide, we don't even realize. Mm. That's why they got us going against one another because we are the only people that will annihilate ourselves That's for right. somebody That's else right. that right. we don't even know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jesus. If it please the king, let it be decreed that they be destroyed, and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver into the hands of those who have charge of the king's business that they may be put into the king's treasury. Look at Haman. Haman going to pay the king. Yes, sir. <laughs> going to pay To kill the Jews. Mm -hmm. Going to pay the king. Can I give you the backdrop? Y'all know it because y'all biblical yeah. scholars. Yeah. The backdrop was Haman had an attitude because Mordecai did not bow down to him yeah. and yeah. ignored him to his face. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yes. If you want to ever get the devil ticked off, mm -hmm. I can say this if you ever want to piss the devil off, mm -hmm. ignore him. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And tell him in the name of Jesus, get yes. these hands behind me, Satan. Yes. Yes. If you want to ever cause him to be a nerd, yes. keep living for God and denouncing sin. Mm -hmm. Keep calling sin, sin, yes. and godliness, godliness, yes. and live a holy lifestyle. Jesus. The yes, problem sir. with us. It said we too concerned about what the devil has threatened us with. Mm -hmm. He numbered a blow heart. Mm -hmm. Peter said he goes around seeking who he may devour. He ain't nothing but a bully. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when Jesus went to the cross mm -hmm. and he went to the grave and he rose, he took the devil's teeth out of his mouth. <laughs> and you can't, let me tell you something, I don't care how smart you are, you can't eat food with no teeth, not no real food. That's right. They got a parade for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ took his teeth. Yeah. Why are you still listen to somebody that has no teeth? All right. Why, mm. why are you still abiding in someone that don't have any teeth? Yes, sir. <laughs> but Haman got an attitude. And then the devil got into Haman and said, Hold up, I'm not going to put all this energy and just take him Mordecai out. Mm hmm. Let me take out the whole Jewish nation. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So let me build the plot. Mm -hmm. Some of you have been consumed by the plot that the devil is trying to get you. The folks that used to hang out with you, they don't hang out with you more. They, they upset because God is raising you up. They upset because you made a decision mm -hmm. to live for God and not for the devil. They made upset. They, the devil is upset because you're not lukewarm no more. Because Revelation says you can be how to cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And if you look warm, mm -hmm. he's going to spit. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible says spew, but I'm not theologian today. He's going to spit you up. Mm -hmm. yes. right, mm -hmm. And let me tell you something about some men. Some men can spit. Mm. We can spit across the street. You know, somebody's stuff in our mouth. Mercy. We can spit. Mercy. Yeah, I, I'm not one of those men, saying. I think spitting is disgusting. <laughs> yes, it is. Very so when I do it, I'm very. I'm spitting in the street. Thank you, Elder Lord. Yes, I am. I go turn my head and go, ha! Ah. Hey. Yes. Oh, I do it in the grass in a minute. Or if I have an open cup of soda, the can don't go, pop it in the can and put it in recycle. Because it's going to be recycled anyway. It's bacteria. Be careful where you spit because your DNA. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me that. <laughs> so Haman went to the king. I said, King, these people have different laws. Mm -hmm. They really don't abide in us. You see how the devil will paint the picture? Yes. To break you down and to destroy your testimony. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. And this is how the devil does. He said, Y'all don't even abide in what I'm doing. You on a job and they say you're not doing what you're supposed to You're doing what you but see the way you do it is you're giving glory to God. Mm -hmm. And see, crooks are everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what the biggest crook factory is in the church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, people plot on each other every Sabbath, or if you go on Sunday, they plot. Mm -hmm. Don't let you get a little bit of notoriety. All right. God, I'm lifting you up. Oh, she thank you, son. Mm -hmm. We're going to see when we can fix that. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Plotting. People plot <clears throat> because they're insecure. Mm -hmm. Haman plotted because he was insecure. Mm -hmm. He was angry, number one. Mm -hmm. As a Christian, you can be angry. Ephesians 4 26 to be angry. And so not. And so not. But we, see, he did more than sin. He premeditated a plot. That's what he did. 
And then he brought some money. Let me tell you something. Money will get you to kill your mother. <laughs> see, see, y'all think I'm, y'all think I'm just oh, shooting yeah. the breeze. Mm. Some folks will have their mother shot mm. for $10,000. Yeah. Especially if they're a drug addict. Unfortunately, especially if they need money and that's you get right. desperate. That's People right. do desperate things when they get desperate. When they get desperate. That's right. That's right. So he told the king. That's, and then the king, no spiritual discernment, not even saved, not even converted. Come said, on guess now. What? <laughs> guess what? Come on now. Since you my pride. See, yeah. let me, oh, let me back up. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I got to hurry, saints. Lord. Look good to me. He was promoted to be the prime minister. Yes, he mm -hmm. was. And so he sure thought, I'm the big guy now. That's yes, right. Yes, Mordecai, sir. I tell you what. The king with his foolish self, mm -hmm. he said, keep your money. Mm -hmm. Since you are my, since you're my number one, mm -hmm. go do your thing. Mm -hmm. And he gave Haman mm -hmm. the signature ring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they sent out decree through all the land yes. where the Jews was at. Now let me back up. I forgot to drop y'all this. Mordecai and Esther and some of the other Jews had a chance to go back to Jerusalem. They were in exile yeah. where they were. Yeah. But they had an opportunity to go back, but they didn't go back. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of them didn't go back because yeah. mm -hmm. they respected Mordecai mm -hmm. and they respected Esther. Mm -hmm. See, when you get in leadership and you have a lifestyle that blesses God mm -hmm. and people start respecting you, I'm not telling you to live up to people's expectations, but live up to the expectations God has given you because the Bible said that much is given, much is required. Mm -hmm. And these people was locked into Mordecai and Esther because they had a heart for their people. Mm -hmm. yeah. But see, he was concerned about losing his place of notoriety because Mordecai didn't care nothing about that dude. He sure did. What, you want to fire the devil up? <laughs> Ignore him. Mm -hmm. You want to fire somebody that don't like you when they talking? Ignore. Like <laughs> <laughs> somebody saying something to me? They right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Somebody saying something to me? Oh, I didn't think so. And walk on by. That will fuck. Now that may be rude. I'm not telling you to do that on purpose. Let me help you out. Because they said Pastor D had told us to just be rude. No, I'm telling you to ignore the devil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because many times the devil will come on you on the elevator. Yes, he will. Start talking that demonic foolishness. You can tell him you did it because your mouth open. <laughs> He's feeding it to you. Mm. But the plot is real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The plot to assassinate your character and your spirit mm -hmm. is real. And even your life. That's right. Some of our foreign missionaries have lost their lives because in the countries where they're serving God, they knew the devil was plotting against them and they didn't buy into it. There's a plot mm -hmm. against you as a child of God. Mm -hmm. You got a bullseye on your back and on your front. Mm -hmm. Well, who are you going to stand for? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I like Joseph, what Joseph said in, in, in Genesis 50, 19 and 20. Let me read that for you real quick. But Joseph said to them, do not fear, for I am in the place of God. My goodness! What he said. I'm in the place of God. Mm -hmm. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring about the many people should be kept alive as they are today. Yeah. Let me give you another one. When you stand for God and ignore the devil. Psalm 27, verses 1 to 3 in the KJV says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon the end of my flesh, they stumble and they fail. The host should have camped against me. My heart should not fear. The war should rise against me. In this one thing, I would be confident. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now let's look at the purpose. Man, time's gone. Found in chapter 4, verses 8 through 14. Mordecai also gave him a copy of the written decree issued in Susa for their destruction that he might show it to Esther and explain it to her and command her to go to the king to beg his favor and to plead with him on behalf of her people. Mm -hmm. Verse number 9. And Hatash went to went and told Esther what Mordecai had said. Then Esther spoke to Hatash and commanded him to go to Mordecai and say, Verse 11, all the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces know that if any man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there is but one law to be put to death, mm -hmm. except the one in whom the king holds out the golden scepter that they may live. Mm -hmm. 
But as for me, I have not been called to the king for 30 days. And they told Mordecai, well, Esther said, let me tell you something, I'm paraphrasing verses 13 and 14. Mordecai said, now, Esther, mm -hmm. let me tell you, Esther, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk to you in layman's turn. Mm -hmm. Esther, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you think because you're in the kingdom mm -hmm. that you're going to escape because you were Jew too. Because guess what? When they start stealing, when they start killing Jews, mm -hmm. there's, there's a Jew that's going to drop a die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> you know it. Hey, there's a rat. Now you better know it. Hey, you know it. Listen. Listen. I'll take you to him. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll roll you up in the building. There's a house, Jew, somewhere. <laughs> Guess <laughs> what? They're they going to stop talking. <laughs> Y'all know how folks are. That's why you got to be careful who you tell. Yes, Cough right. this stuff, That's too. right. That's right. Because the moment they get an attitude That's with right. you, or the moment they threaten, come on your name will be the first one on the come list. Come on now. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You might as say amen anyhow. Amen. Because there's some folks that you was with that you told them not. First of all, you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Two mistakes you made. Mm -hmm. Who you told you, you told them not to say nothing. Yeah. That gave them a license yeah. to give your goods up. Yeah. Well, then you can never tell somebody <laughs> not to say nothing. Okay. Thank you. Because you gave me full economy to open my mouth. Come on now. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. Jesus. Woo! Let me drop down to verse 14. Because mm -hmm. cause, cause Mordecai told me, he said, you ain't getting away neither your household. Mm -hmm. If I got to die, y'all go die to do the same. I'm not dying by myself, sister. We all going down. I'm taking the whole ship. I'm going to squeal and I'm going to be a parakeet. Yeah. I'm going to be a preaching parakeet. <laughs> I'm going to give name, addresses, times, and everything. Yes. Holly, stop singing, Pastor. <laughs> Verse 14 says, Part B says, And who knows whether you have not come to the kingdom mm. for such a purpose. Mm -hmm. See, see, thanks to God. Mm -hmm. The things that you're dealing with today is preparing you to walk in your purpose right in the middle of here. Mm -hmm. See, your purpose will never be unfolded or revealed till you walk in the middle of hell. Mm -hmm. Ask the Hebrew boys in Daniel 3. Mm -hmm. When they told the king we ain't by our dad. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And he heated up the, the furnace mm -hmm. seven times hotter. I can't remember because I did a message on that and I told you how hot it was. I ain't got to tell you how the God went down did the check on them, he got burned up immediately. Immediately. <laughs> he was made. Sulfur immediately. That's what happens to bodies when they burn up. Yes, they sir. turn into sulfur. That's right. White, white stuff. Mm -hmm. He turned into white stuff. That's right. The purpose that God has called you for go requires that you go through some things. Mm -hmm. I don't understand these Christians that don't want to go through nothing ever love. Mm -hmm. I don't understand these Christians that's got talents and gifts. See, we forget that our talents and gifts comes with a price. Mm -hmm. Not the gifts and talents, but in order for them to be brought to fruition, you got to go through something. Mm -hmm. I don't hang around people that ain't willing to go through something for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You're going to get divorced. You're going to get rejected. You're going to get lied on. You're going to get kicked to the curb. Mm -hmm. You're going to get discredited. Mm -hmm. But it's a part of your purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, Esther thought because she was beautiful, Come on. And she had faith. Come on. Mm -hmm. And because she was married to the king, mm -hmm. that she wasn't going to go through nothing. Mm -hmm. Don't ever think because you have moved to an exquisite place yes. that you ain't going to go through something. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through something mm -hmm. in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through something and fulfilling our purpose. Everybody has a different purpose. Yes. Amen. Yes. And some of us still not walking in our purpose. We say we're walking in our purpose, but we're not. Because mm. the only person you trust is you. The only thing that you've done differently is maybe two, three things. Two or three things. Mm. Your purpose, some people's purposes are local. Mm -hmm. And they ain't doing that. Some people's purposes are statewide and they do nothing. Mm. Some people's purposes are global. Mm. Esther had a global purpose. But see, because we're too busy trying to find some purpose because somebody else doing something, it's not your purpose what they're doing. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Let me say this real quick. Lord, I'm out of time. That's right. Because I'm an author and because I'm a senior pastor and founder doesn't mean that that's your purpose. Mm -hmm. See, the problem with us, we look at other people's purpose and we look at what they're doing and they seem that they're okay. But you don't know the hell they're going through or what they're going through to get to yeah, that that's purpose. That's right. That's right. They don't know the, you know, I tell people all the time, because people ask me questions when they see me on Facebook or see me in different places. They say, man, you really must be riding the bed of ease. Yeah, sure. <sighs> I said, find that bed and let me know where it is so I can lay on it. Come on down. Come on down. Because I ain't never laid on no bed of ease. That's right. In serving God. Because the Bible says, they that will live God in Christ shall suffer persecution. That's right. And I'm not putting myself, listen, I'm nothing without God. Mm -hmm. But I know some people that have been through some hell in walking in their purpose. Mm -hmm. Purpose doesn't mean it's going to be pleasant. Mm -hmm. Come on, Doc. Mm. Purpose means that it's going to be some pain. Mm. Yeah. It's going to be some agony. Mm. It's going to be some people that will reject you and lie on you right to your face. Yes, sir. But I'd rather have this purpose in God than have the purpose in the devil. Because mm -hmm. see, one thing about my purpose in God, it won't die mm. unless I give up on it. Amen. Can I tell you why I won't die? Jeremiah 29, 11 said, God knows the things I think for you, not of evil, but of good to bring you to expect. If God holding your purpose in expectancy, that means God ain't going to never let it die until you do something to kill it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Esther's purpose came through her making a decision. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are a step away from walking in to the divine purpose. Uh-oh. Come on now. See, yeah. see yeah. too many people want purpose, but they don't want the divine purpose. Mm -hmm. I had the opportunity here to minister. I say minister, because when I grow up, I always minister. I had a chance to speak at a black history program this Thursday. And they, they, said, my, they said to my wife, man, your husband was preaching. My, she said, my husband wasn't preaching. She said, y'all don't know. Y'all think he was preaching. I said, he was on the mellow side today. He said, because let me tell you something. When God get on that boy, God does something in that boy. And she wasn't praising me. She was praising because God has allowed me to walk into my purpose. Yes. Because he saw my purpose like he saw your purpose when you were born. The Bible said in Jeremiah 1, before your mother formed you, I knew you and I had a plan for you. I'm paraphrasing it. Mm -hmm. Too many of us get in churches and lose our purpose. Too many of us get in jobs and lose our purpose. Too many people get married to and we lose our purpose. Mm -hmm. But Esther mm -hmm. had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Her purpose was because Mordecai had to give her a revelation. Yeah. He had to give a he had to tap on the side of her head. Ask the baby. You can go to the kingdom mm -hmm. for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me move quickly. I gotta move quickly. I believe in verses in chapter four, verses chapter four and five, it reveals some amazing things about Eric Esther's character that demonstrated she was walking in her purpose. To be the change agent to recharge, renew, and restore her family, even the survival of the whole Jewish nation during this time. Mm -hmm. Number one, first one, she went from being fearful. Verse 11 says, And all the king's servants and the people of King's prophets know that if a man or woman goes to the king inside the inner court without being called, there's but one law mm -hmm. to be put to death. Mm -hmm. Except the king holds out his golden sack. Mm -hmm. She told Mordecai, messenger, that I ain't been called in 30 days. Mm -hmm. She went from the, some of you right today are fearful mm -hmm. of going in your divine purpose because you haven't been called by so and so. Mm -hmm. Some of us still waiting on a phone call or email or text. Some of us got gifts and talents. That God ain't looking for you to wait for a call. He's looking for you to walk out by faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some of us have allowed people to smother our purpose because of their fear. Mm -hmm. It's something when you're around people that they're always afraid mm -hmm. yeah. to do something. That's right. And they call you about their fear. And you, because you're loving and kind, you listen to them. And before you know, they're depositing their fear into your faith. That erases your faith and you become fearful just like them. She understood the mandate of the kingdom. Mm. 
that if you go to the king without being caught, there's one but law. But one law is death. Yes. I'm imagining that that's what probably about 25. Mm -hmm. In the prime of her beautiful life. Amen. Because the Bible says she was fine. Mm -hmm. Like new wine. Like new Not wine. the old wine. <laughs> New wine. She was new wine. New wine. She was fine. And for you that don't know what fine is, beautiful, intelligent, black woman. Oh, did I say that? Eloquent, articulate black woman. Let's get the demographic straight. Yes, sir. But she was fearful. See, the reality is, things, is that anything that you're fearful of, the devil will always compound it to rob you of your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes, see, this is me, this Pastor D. I'm talking about Pastor D for a moment. I've learned that the only way to handle the fear that the devil put on me is to walk right in the middle of the field yep. mm -hmm. and say, God, I'm here. What you going to do about it, Lord? And sometimes, you see, you got to be transparent. Mm -hmm. I share some stuff with people on interviews. They're just like, what? Because you know what? I can't change my path. <clears throat> I can't change my failures or mistakes. Amen. And I can never allow them to rob me of my faith through fear. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Esther went from being fearful. She told the, the Bible said that. I'm not saying you look at verse 11. Mm -hmm. She went from being fearful. Point number two, she went to facilitate the fast. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me read that for you. Verse 16b. Verse 16a says, Go gather all the Jews, chapter 4, to be found in Susa, and hold a fast on my behalf, and do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my young women, let me tell you something. If you want to see God do something supernatural in your life, that God can cause a metamorphosis change in your situation, in the events in your life, go on a fast. Yeah. Tell the flesh, shut your mouth. Come on, God. See, she went on a three-day fast with nothing to eat or drink, not even water. Hmm. That was an absolute fast. I thank God that he's helped me at times going to absolute fast, three days, eat nothing, drink nothing. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm trying to be more spiritual to you, because I needed to overcome that supernatural obstacle mm -hmm. that fear gripped me. Mm -hmm. And yes, fear sometimes grips the pastor, mm -hmm. but God has taught me through his word, this is how you handle that. Yeah. Call a fast. Mm -hmm. So she told him, Everybody in the camp. You know who started the fast? It wasn't Esther. It was Mordecai. Mordecai. Mordecai took his clothes off and got his sackcloth and ashes. And she had the nerve to try to bring him clothes. Don't come to me if you're not going to, you not don't want to fast. I respect you if you don't want to fast. It's okay, but don't bother me. Come on. Because I believe I'm going to be one of the change agents that God will use to get my family and my nation saved and survived. Amen. She called a fast. How many fasts have you called in your house lately? Three day fasts. Well, see, Pastor, do you understand? I have to have something to eat because I take medication. Mm -hmm. Okay? You keep on playing that tune. Because if God calls you on a fast, God will keep you doing. That fast, even if you don't take the medication. Now, I'm not trying to tell you to do something out. First of all, ask your doctor, can you fast for three days and don't take your medication? Mm -hmm. But see, let me tell you something. What I will tell you this. Fasting is not for the faint of heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's the folks that are serious about getting their flesh destroyed mm -hmm. and their faith taken to the next dimension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, because the disciples was jacked up. Why couldn't we cast out that demon? Jesus looked at them and he said, certain things can only come through fasting and prayer. Mm -hmm. See, if you're going to walk in your anointing, it's going to be some times that you're going to have to fast and pray. Mm -hmm. If you want God to do something mm -hmm. spiritual, because fasting is a spiritual principle. Mm -hmm. It's not a physical. Mm -hmm. But because you're doing a spiritual principle, if you want to drop a few, a, a few LBSs, it will help you to drop a few LBSs if right. that's not your main objective. All right. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Number three. She went to being fearless. My God. <sighs> chapter, verse, chapter 4, verse 16b says, Then I will go to the king, and though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. See, let me tell you.
tell you something. You got to become fearless to do the will of God at another dimension and level. Y'all ain't fearless enough for me. You keep letting the devil throw bluffs at you. Mm. Mm. He ain't nothing but a bully. But when you get, see, Esther, I believe that. I believe the Holy Ghost in her. Because Mordecai gave her a word. And then I think she got, she got a shake. She said, hold up. I am the queen. I do have power. Mm -hmm. I don't have all the power with that. My king had based on the natural perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I know if I fast mm -hmm. for my people. Yeah. See, we're not serious enough mm -hmm. about seeing our families that's on drugs getting off of drugs. We're not serious enough seeing our kids that are falling, falls, falling short academically. We're not serious about us getting a better job or getting a better home or getting a better perspective. Because if we are, we become fearless in the things of God. We keep letting the status quo of fear rob us of the next level in Christ. Well, mm. Refuse to let a church and people rob me of that. Mm. If nobody's here, well, first lady and I, I'm going to still preach the gospel like it's 20,000 people. You know why? Because yeah, right. Jesus was fearless when he saved me out of my sin. Amen. Because he could have let drugs that's he right. could have let unmarried, unprotected sex. Yeah. He could let all those things take me out. Yes, sir. He could have let the military. I could have died in Kuwait. Mm. I could have died on the streets. Right in the war zone. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But God was fearless. Because mm. he said, I'm going to save that boy. Yeah. So he can be a change agent for his family. Amen. See, when you look at your family, I'm not, I don't know your family history per se. But when I look on my family, Elder Lord, there's some folks in my family that need to be saved, that need to get off of drugs, mm -hmm. that need to stop molesting their children's children with incest. Mm -hmm. But see, I get fearless, and I say, I'm going to fast. Mm -hmm. And if it kill me, it kill me. But I want to be, if I die, I'm going to die doing the will of God. Now, I'm not trying to tell you, don't use common sense. That's Come right. Come on. That's right. But see, we ain't serious enough yet. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to get serious. Mm -hmm. Esther got serious. He said, guess what? I know it's not the thing to do. I know it's against the law, but this would blew my mind. Mm. And she didn't have a coach. She didn't have a mentor. Mm. God was not talked about in this particular Bible, book rather. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. God. But she said, guess what? If I perish, then I'm going to perish. But I'm going to the king. Mm -hmm. See, your miracle is waiting on you to get furious. You want to get out where you are? Mm. You want to get from the bondages that's racking your mind, that's in the depth of your past, of your failures and mistakes? Get fearless about it. All right. All right, Doc. Too many of us are being held hostage and in bondage in, in God because of our past failures and mistakes, of what people think, of what people may say. I'm going to say something when it's been right. Because I don't give a who good word. Mm -hmm. about what people say no that's more. Good, that, that's a good word. You know what I don't care? Because you're going to say something anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm able to give you to say something about the Lord in my life. <sighs> Number four. I got to finish. My time is gone. She went to be favored. She went to be favored. Chapter five. On the third day, Esther put on her robe robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace in front of the king's quarters while the king was sitting on his royal throne inside the throne opposite the entrance to the his throne was opposite yeah yeah God when God favors you he will have folks turn around and notice you mm -hmm. let me finish mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh this thing is in my spirit and when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court she won favor in his sight and he helped before the 30 days before she was called. Yes, sir. Some of you got to move in the opposite of direction of what you think because the favor is opposite of where you've been thinking about, where you've been planning. Mm -hmm. We keep using the connections of folks because they have things and they know things. God said, make a left turn. And go this way against the grain. Mm. Yeah. Some of us need to go against the grain and watch God give you favor. Oh, 
God. Jesus. Woo! We keep trying to use what we used last year, mm. two years ago. Mm. God said, trust me by faith, mm. and I'll bless you with supernatural yes. faith. Yes, yes. That's why imagine me family worship said ain't worried about what nobody's talking about mm. and what they're thinking. Because mm -hmm. I'm moving the direction. God telling me to move this ministry. Mm -hmm. And I don't need a lot of advice mm. unless it's from the Lord. That's right. Because I can discern whether you're from the Lord or from yourself. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> then the king said, verse 3, what is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given. I gotta stop. My God. Yeah, come on. God. She asked the king, the king asked her, What do you want? When you go the direction, the opposite direction, God will give you favor, and they are asking, What do you need? Oh, yes. Come on. What do you want? He said, What do you want? He said, Guess what? She didn't 